Good morning. Um, I wanted to give you guys a suggestion, um, and I think it's, it's easier to show you what I mean in Tableau. Uh, let's pretend for a second that you wanted to compare two different groups of whatever. Uh, and so you look at your 50 states or you look at your entire data set and you say, I wonder how this group does separately from that group. And one of the things that we can do is separate things out, say, by government party or the governor's party, right? So we can kind of use that as a de facto. This is a red state and a blue state, más o menos. Um, and let's look at, let's create a scatter plot first. So let's look at death rates compared to diabetes. It's just because they're easy to grab. And by creating a scatter plot, we're going to turn them both into dimensions. I click on the little arrow, I run down to dimensions, I click on the little arrow, and I run down to dimensions. I click on the little arrow, I run down to dimensions. And this is okay, except I want my death rate to be a Y. So I'm going to click on this little deal up here and flip them around. That looks better. Death rate is my Y, it's my dependent variable. I'm trying to show that diabetes explains death rate. Um, this has a line in it. Let me take it off for a second. And so these are all the 50 states. And you could turn around and drop states into labels. So you see the 50 states, you know, and they're comparable. Um, and I could do a little right click here and show the trend line, right? And my trend line, which we saw a minute ago, is now there. And I've got my trend line. This is basically my regression line. And you can go to Excel and you can run this uh, regression by using diabetes as your X and death rate as your Y on a state by state basis, right? But you might want to separate these out by say government party. And so how would I do that? I would take government party and you could drop it into the sheet, which gives you, you know, this little guy over here, or you could just do the same thing, the exact same thing and drop it into shape. If I drop it into shape, the exact same thing happens. Those look a little small to me. So actually, that's a good size. Maybe a little bit bigger. Maybe not. Maybe that's okay. We'll just leave that one alone. And then for the sake of presentation, I might take government party again and drop it into the color. And now I've got two separate colors. If you want to turn this into red and blue, you can. I don't really care. Um, you know... Tableau Classic, what traffic lights probably inappropriate. I like the red and the orange, so I'm going to keep that there. Okay, and you'll see now that I have two separate regression lines, right? I have a, that's interesting. Blue is Democrat, yeah. So now I have two separate regression lines. I have this one at 0 .005 scrolling up, and I have this one at 0 .002 kind of still scrolling up, still a positive relationship, but at a different uh, slope. And now you can make a deduction in the two by saying, hey, the blue line has a slope of 0 0.002 and the orange line has a slope of 0 .005 and, 0 .005, and you can make some conclusions thereof. Now you're running three different regressions, right? You're running a regression where you're running the entire United States, right? And then you're running a regression where you're going to do uh, Republicans, or in this case, Democrats as, as the blue ones, and then Republicans as the orange. And you report in your paper all three regressions um, and then make a conclusion, probably based on the slope, as to which state is doing better than the other and whether or not it's a good one or whatever. And you would run those in Excel uh, and then maybe display this one because it's a pretty graph, right? And that's one way to incorporate Tableau into your work. It's a suggestion. You don't have to do this. But if you thought about doing something like this, maybe you don't want to do government party. Maybe you want to do governor's gender, right? Do women uh, governors, are they better than male governors? And the slopes are really close together here. But, you know, you may want to do that um, you know, or whatever you think is appropriate. So just an idea as you elaborate on your projects. Good luck.